So much for background. Notice from the four accounts that each describes the struggle he had with the adversary at each crucial turning point in the Restoration. Beelzebub, the enemy of righteousness, the prince of darkness, has reared his ugly head. The first vision is no exception. Someone has observed wisely that the adversary has not, in contrast to the rest of us, lost his memory. He has not been placed in a physical body and had the veil drawn. The adversary therefore knew Joseph Smith. And Joseph Smith said later in his life, every man, and that would include himself, who has a calling to minister to the inhabitants of this earth was ordained to that calling in the grand council before the world was. It is no surprise that the adversary would wish to thwart the earnest supplication of this boy. And it is important, I believe, to observe that that was not the first time someone had prayed for the Lord to answer the hard question, whither is truth? And that, in effect, the answer that came to this boy, this mere boy, was an answer, I believe, to millions of prayers down through the centuries and on both sides of the veil. How strong was that influence? Well, you remember in the Pro of Great Price he says that it was no imaginary thing, that it was as if he would be destroyed. And in an earlier account he adds the detail that for a time he could not speak. His tongue cleaved to the roof of his mouth. He exerted faith and was released. Through his life, the prophet had important things to say about the power of the evil one. But he never said that the evil one is as powerful as the living God. He knew both. And like Moses anciently, he was not confused when once he had seen both and their influence. He, in fact, constantly taught the saints that, quote, the devil has no power over us only as we permit him. That's speaking of the kind of power that we call possession. And he also said elsewhere, all men have power to resist the devil. All, in short, is voluntary. But whether we are righteous or not, we do not escape the buffetings. And they can be from the outside, as in his case, or if we yield, they can become interior and we ourselves become the very puppets of him. A healthy respect, may I put it so, for darkness arose from the Joseph Smith early visions, as did a glorious respect for the power that overcomes darkness, light.
的。